Hi, it's Deanna, and today I have another mail call, otherwise known as eBay unboxing. So this seller, now I'm a little nervous. The seller actually, it looks like they did not do a very good job of packing this box, and it looks pretty smashed and beaten up. Now they actually wrote my address on an old beat up piece of loose leaf paper. So that's telling me that this person isn't really a professional seller. Now, if it's what I think it is, because I ordered a few things, I am not too thrilled about the fact that it's in such a small box. So whatever this item is, which I'm going to open in a second, and I'm crossing my fingers, it's okay, is probably crammed into a box way too small for it. So stay tuned when I open it up, and hopefully it's A-OK. -okay. So generally, when you see a shabby like package on the outside, <laughs> what's on the inside is shabbily packed as well so it looks like they crammed my item in a box that was too small for it so uh, let me get it out and make sure it's all right because now I'm getting nervous as um, I don't know if you guys have uh, been following my uh, last week's videos but I received quite a few um, many things busted broken and improperly packaged so now I'm getting nervous all right hang on while I put the camera down and we'll see if it's okay so I know by now you are like screaming behind your screen. You're going, come on, will you open the damn thing already, D? <laughs> but I can't help but to beat a dead horse. And I know I've said this on many occasions in my other unboxing videos, how much I hate when sellers wrap things in beat up old grocery store bags. Doesn't that look sort of like, doesn't it cheapen the item? Like in your mind, like psychologically, it's like, okay, so I was going to like, throw out this old grocery store bag, but I'll just use trash trash to wrap your things, D. And look, it even has stains on it. It's sort of skeevy. In New York, we call things that are gross skeevy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get this out, and ugh, I'm just like grossed out already. So I opened them up out of the box, and um, I believe I'm trying to take this into a shadier area because it's very dark in my yard. Okay. Let's put them under the shade of this tree here. So what this is, is a 1930s mohair Scotty dog. I don't know if you can see him. Let me swivel his head a little. And he's supposed to be like an automaton. And so his head is supposed to spin from side to side as he plays music. Now I believe he's a German dog or he could be an American Knickerbocker brand uh, mohair dog. Um, he does have... I have a Kramer dog, actually, that has these little nostrils airbrushed onto the nose like that with a lighter brown stitched mouth. And I know Kramer made dogs like that. I have another Terrier by Kramer that's actually not a black Scotty style or a Westie, but more like a Airedale Terrier. And he has the same type of silk stitching on his nose and the same type of eyes that are made out of uh, glass. And I'm a little disappointed now. I should have known by the way the seller packed the uh, item. He or she did an awful job. As you could see, this dog was only wrapped in a flimsy little grocery bag. And it was just a tiny bit of bubble wrap. Now, there was no padding in the box. Now, his automaton mechanism is not working at all. So I'm very, very, very angry right now. Um, I know I sound... A lot like you know a whiner or a complainer but that's ridiculous I mean I paid a lot of money for this little mohair 1930s dog that his head was supposed to you know move from side to side as the music played and it's not working now I wound it up and nothing's happening now in the description it mentioned that it works and it works beautifully and he said oh it plays a beautiful tune well it doesn't play a tune anymore because of the way the seller packaged it but what are you gonna do right such is life now I might open up a return request for this or um, actually do a significantly not as described claim on eBay. I don't know if I should be so mean to the seller, but maybe I should get a partial refund for this since it's only half as good as it once was or was supposed to be. So I guess I pretty much can't win, right? As um, I don't know if you haven't watched my videos or you haven't followed my latest videos, last week was a disaster. I received two eBay packages that came busted and broken and smashed to bits. And now here's damage number three for, <laughs> for actually for the month and damage number one for this week and two damages last week. So I had to file two significantly 
significantly not as described claims with eBay last week, and now this may be number three. And they always say three's the charm, right? <laughs> so what are you gonna do? But so now in the 1930s, there was a huge influx of mohair dogs on the market. Now teddy bears were always the most popular, but then manufacturers of toys started to make a lot of dogs, and they started outselling teddy bears. But it was just like for a small amount of time that the dogs were really like hot on the market. So sometime in the late 20s, throughout the whole entire 30s, the dogs, they made every kind of breed known to man in mohair. So that included the English companies, the German companies, and the American toy companies. And uh, this little dog is one of those such dogs that were uh, outselling the teddy bears at the time. And then they waned in uh, popularity, and then the teddy bears were uh, king again. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And once again, thank you for letting me rant and rave and get some anger <laughs> off my chest. So long.